great product placement. Yes, they always plan. <laughs> well, everyone has said it's a hot week. There's plenty of water around. All right, everyone, thank you very much, and welcome back to the Media Center here at the Amundi Evian Championship. Happy to be joined by our leading French player, Céline Boutier. A reminder to everyone on the Zoom, we unfortunately can't hear you for questions, but if you have any, please drop them in the chat, and I'm happy to ask them. So hello, Céline, welcome back to Evian. Uh, you've now had three days to, uh, to see the course here, a few days to see the course. How are you feeling as you head into this major championship? Uh, yeah, feeling good, very happy to be here and uh, looking forward to getting the tournament started. How was the, uh, the Pro-Am? I know you only had nine holes, but you had nine holes today. You've had a couple of days to see the course. How is it, it looking out there as we get ready for this week of competition? Uh, yeah, it was nice um, to be able to get out today. We had a little bit of rain this morning, um, so it was a little bit of a softer feel around the greens, definitely around the fairways, not as much roll. Um, I think we'll have similar conditions tomorrow uh, with the rain expected uh, this afternoon. So it'll be very similar conditions and it was great to be uh, able to go out there and have a fun group. So it was overall a pretty good day. I know you've taken a few weeks off now. Uh, when did you come over here to France and how was your preparations for this event? Uh, yeah, I got here, I guess, to France um, last uh, Wednesday or Thursday. So I had a few days at home before heading here. and. Um, it was just nice to be able to relax for a little bit before coming here. Um, obviously, I've come here for a few years now, so I know the course, but it's nice to have a few days to adjust and uh, just uh, remind yourself of, uh, you know, where uh, to hit the ball and where <laughs> not to hit the ball. So, yeah, it's been, it's been good to adjust, to adjust a little bit and ready to go. You, uh, you, this is your sixth time playing here, your fourth time as a professional, twice as an amateur. Um, not too often, I don't think, necessarily, you get to play home at home in France anymore. What are some of your best memories of, of getting to play here in your home country, and do you get to play in front of your family this week? Uh, so, yes, my family is here. My parents and my sister are here. Um, I don't really get to come back that much, but uh, definitely my highlight would be um, my win at the French Open last year, which was uh, definitely... A special week for me and um, other than that I think my first year playing here in 2014 when I was still an amateur was uh, definitely very special because it was the first time that I got to play um, you know Avion and the major and just seeing everybody just like the professionals the ones you look up to on TV and it was definitely a cool experience and I got to play uh, the practice round with Suzanne Pearson, which was, she was the defending champ that year. So, and it was my first time playing at Avion, so that was um, surreal. What was that like, uh, playing at that age with Suzanne, who I'm sure was someone as a European player you look up to, and who are some of those names that you've looked up to that you've been able to play with here? Uh, yeah, I was definitely starstruck for a few holes. I was actually um, making the turn, I was uh, on number 60 and I just I just had teed off and I saw her walking by walking towards the tee and I wasn't sure if I should keep going or if I should just <laughs> wait for her I, I just figured I'd wait and she probably not want to play with me but she actually asked if she could join so I was definitely starstruck for a few holes uh, but she was really nice um, and that was definitely a highlight of my week mm -hmm. uh, I think it was like a Monday or Tuesday so I was like if this happens <laughs> so early what else can happen here <laughs> but uh, yeah I mean it's just so great um, just to be able to see I remember watching uh, you know, on TV, and I was looking up to uh, Michelle Wee a lot, I think, and I remember also watching uh, the year where Annika retired here, so it's definitely a lot of uh, memories. And, and to think now, I mean, you're likely to be on the, uh, the Solheim Cup team, and Suzanne would be your captain. When yeah, it's unreal. When you were younger, Celine, thinking about being scared of her, and now she's, I'm sure she's a... I'm still scared of her. <laughs> 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 but now, but also she's a colleague. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very hard to describe uh, just because, I mean, I think the first few times you're just like starstruck because you actually realize they're real people. <laughs> but, um, but then she's really, I mean, most of the players are really nice, really friendly and very open. So uh, you just definitely learn uh, to be more comfortable around, around them. But yeah. 
Please raise your hand in the room. Let us know if you have any questions. Of course, happy for responses in French. Um, I will go to Steve Eubanks, who's on the Zoom, says hello. He says, um, every major adds pressure to your competition. How much added pressure do you feel playing a major in your home country? And how does it compare to like an American playing in the US Women's Open or the UK players playing in the AIG Women's Open? What sort of pressure do you feel as a French player here? I definitely feel a little bit more added pressure, but also because I want to perform well and it means a lot more to me. And so obviously if it means more, you're going to have a little bit more pressure, I think. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. It's just uh, something you have to learn. And especially, you know, I think the more you experience it, the better you will be able to handle it. So now it's been, you know, like six times, like you said, I hope I've learned. So I hope I can do better. It's definitely not a course I've really perform well in the past, so I'm hoping that I can change that. Um, but it's definitely a little bit more, a little bit different than other weeks for sure. Absolutely. Do we have any questions in the room for Celine? Nothing at the moment, I'll go back to my sheet of paper then. Um, not to put pressure on you, but no French woman has ever taken this <laughs> title. Would that be pretty cool to be the first? It, yeah, it definitely would. It's uh, definitely on top of, uh, of my list. But uh, I'm honestly, I feel like the, the best way for me to perform is not to think about it too much. Uh, just really take it one day at a time and see. I mean, it's so hard to win out here, you know. Um, and so if I could, you know, have at least a chance, it would already be nice. And then if I can make it happen, it would be obviously the ultimate dream. But I'm trying not to get too much ahead of myself. Absolutely. Since we were here last year, you've won on the LPGA Tour. You won in October at the ShopRite LPGA Classic. Um, how do you feel your game is right now as you, as you come into the major? Do you feel prepared to, uh, to get the ball going tomorrow? Uh, I think so. I'm just coming off uh, three weeks off, so I've been able to rest a little bit, get my game ready. Um, it's a long season, so you definitely want to, you know, be careful with how you manage your schedule and stuff like that. Um, but I think that the few weeks have been helping me to just be ready physically, mentally, and, uh, and yeah, I'm excited to get the training started tomorrow. Is there anything specific you've been working on on your game lately or just practicing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been working on every part of my game. I think on this course, you definitely need everything. <laughs> but I think I've also tried to uh, practice a little bit more on uneven lights because this course is kind of hilly and you don't really have a flat light out here, uh, here unless you're on the tee. So I've definitely tried to, you know, um, experience a little bit more and get more comfortable with uh, hitting off uneven lights. I know we have a question right up here in the front from Sarah. They're going to come behind you with the microphone. Hi, Celine. Um, just kind of curious, you mentioned taking that time off, and it's a very long season. How important is that conservation of energy within this stretch of major golf with kind of the four majors pretty much back to back to back? Yeah, I mean, it's really important. I think when you're setting up your schedule, you don't realize how tired you're going to be and you want to play in everything because, you know, everything looks so exciting. <laughs> um, and you feel like, you know, the more you play, the more chances you have. But I definitely felt like after, you know, the maybe middle of uh, May or um, beginning of June, I kind of really felt like I was tired every day. And um, it's not something that's really fun. <laughs> Even when you're trying to perform, you obviously try not to think about how tired you are, but it has an effect on, on your game. And um, I definitely feel like the past three weeks have been great for me just because I got to like uh, relax a little bit and I feel like a brand new person. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sarah. Um, I know when, when you, I'm trying to think how I want to say this phrase. I'm asking a, a fun question of everyone. What's your favorite thing to eat when you're over here? So I guess I'll ask, you, you base in the States now, you live in Texas, but when you come home, when you're able to come home, what's the first thing you want to have when you come over to eat? Um, yeah, I think the first thing obviously it's hard, there's so many, so many <laughs> options. But if I have to pick one, I would probably say uh, the bread. Oh, yes. Yes. Because the pastries and stuff, it's really good, but you can find some in America. The bread that's the same, it's very difficult. Do you put butter on it? Do you do it, or just bread? I do put butter, or I eat with cheese. 
she goes ahead. I knew I liked yeah. you. I knew <laughs> I liked you for a reason. Do we have anything further for Celine? I am going to ask you um, just a couple questions in English and ask you to respond in French if you don't mind. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free to, to jump in. Um, so again, I'll say welcome back to, uh, to Evian. You've now had several days to see the course, been back in the country for about a week now. Um, how are you feeling as you head into this major championship? Uh, oui, je me sens bien. Je suis contente d'être de retour sur le, sur le tour. Et c'est vrai que j'ai eu trois semaines de repos maintenant. Donc c est, c est, ça m'a fait du bien mentalement et physiquement. Surtout, je me sentais un peu fatiguée uh, ces derniers mois. Donc c'était super de pouvoir uh, recharger les batteries. Et, et, uh, et maintenant, on est mercredi. Donc je suis, je suis prête à commencer le tournoi demain. How does the golf course look? Um, I had some rain this morning. But overall, how does the golf course look? And how are you prepared as you come in? Le parcours est en condition assez incroyable du départ jusqu'au green, donc ça c'est super positif, c'était vraiment un plaisir de pouvoir faire les parties de reco et, euh, et le programme aujourd'hui, et c'est vrai qu'on a eu un peu de pluie ce matin et cet après-midi, donc le, le parcours est un peu plus mou que, que d'habitude, on n'a pas autant de roules sur les fairways et les green pitch pas mal, mais euh, du coup ça va être intéressant de voir comment il va évoluer au, au, au fur et à mesure de la semaine. And then uh, finally, with no pressure again, um, but what how what would it mean to you to to get this title you've won the french open certainly but but to win this major title in your home country uh oui de gagner uh, les vieux championship ce serait vraiment le rêve ultime je pense que de gagner un major de déjà d'entrée c'est uh, c'est assez uh, incroyable et, et spécial mais c'est vrai de le gagner uh, chez soi en, en france ce serait ce serait juste incroyable et um, et oui c'est vraiment un tournoi qui um, Qui, qui me marque vraiment, c'est mes premiers souvenirs euh, de regarder le golf à la télé, c'était vraiment de regarder les Young Masters, donc c'était, ça serait vraiment euh, incroyable pour moi de, de gagner euh, ce tournoi. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Do we have anything else in the room for Celine and nothing left on the Zoom? All right, well, thank you very much. Have a great week. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. And to everyone on the line, that's it for now. We'll be back in about an hour with Minji Lee. Thank you very much.